because no one is separated from me. Everyone is a part of myself. Everybody is another image of me, another reflection of me. Do I need to hang out with them and go to a party or invite them to my house and have dinner after they screwed me? No. I don't need to see them ever again in my life. Do I need to walk up to them and tell them, hey, thank you for screwing me over and stealing $50,000 from me? I don't need to. But inwardly, I know that this was a part of the grand plan. And I had to learn this lesson. And in, inwardly, within, I don't have an attachment or a charge on this story any longer. Because I know it was a contract. It was an agreement. Now you can just look at it. Your dad. Your dad used to beat you up. He was angry. He was yelling at you guys. Or your mom was, or, or I don't know, mom was sexually abusive, verbally abusive. No matter what the story is, you want to go back to this story, look at it, see what you've learned from it. How does this story help you to evolve? How is it going to help you to go to the next level? Does it help you to be more compassionate? Does it help you to be aware that when you're raising children, you don't keep yelling and screaming at it? Is this going to help? Does it going to bring awareness from you for you that in your daily relationship, you need to pay attention to yourself? not to act from an anger space, angry space, okay? So you want to look at the circumstance of what has happened because number one, there's nothing you can do about it. Okay, you, got se you were sexually abused or you got abandoned and that happened 20, 30 years ago and there's nothing you can do about it and nobody else besides you and maybe someone super close to you does give a hoot, does give a damn about your story. Because you don't give a damn about other people's stories. You know, your best friend keeps coming to you and nagging about being abandoned in childhood. After a while, you're sick of the hearing the story. You don't want to hear it anymore. It's like, get over it, dude. Move on. So other people don't care about your story either. You're the only person who's possessed by it and giving it energy and deriving power from it. You're the only one. No one else cares. As you don't care about other people's stories. It's very important for us to really become aware of this because this is a hindrance. This is something that really keeping you away from going into the next level of your spirituality. It keeps you into this rut, into this loop of reincarnation. And you can just keep going round and round and round and round and then have this appearance of spirituality that you do yoga, you do meditation, you become vegetarian, and you don't smoke and you don't drink, but then you're dwelling into this past, and then secretly you're dwelling into this victim part. Even though in appearance you're pretending that you're very, very advanced, but you're not. Or you want to forgive your dad, but you can't. You want to forgive your mom, your friend, you can't. Well, the reason you can't, and it's not possible to do it, is because you first need to understand the concept 
you need to understand what's up. And what's up is that you needed to go to these experiences because you incarnated in a human form, body to come in the third dimension, because you have to go to, and if these things have happened to you, just one moment, excuse me, I'm just gonna redo my uh, Instagram. If these experiences do happen to you, whatever has happened, anything from the beginning of the time you remember to now, anything that has happened to you was exactly the way it was meant to be. It could have not been any other way. We can sit down and talk about possibilities that if I didn't do this, if I married this other person, if I did go to this medical school that I wanted to go, this would have happened, that would have happened. Yeah, those are all possibilities. And maybe in a parallel world, another version of you did this, but not in this one. You didn't do it. And you did exactly perfectly what you had to do. And you're perfectly and exactly where you need to be right now, here and now, with whatever has happened to you in your life. Exactly this was the divine plan. Because you have no power to do anything outside of the divine will, outside of what existence and the spirit would like you to do because it's coming out of love. It's the experience you need to go through to help you evolve to your higher self. For whatever reason, that's what it is. Every single event that happens to you in your life is exactly the way is planned to be. For you, to go through that experience and learn something from it. So our best way and the best attitude we can have in life to free ourselves from this loop of my story and poor me, and this happened to me, and I'm always broke, and I'm always uh, not loved, and na 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 all this story that your mind keeps playing, and you know what I'm talking about, because we all deal with it, is the key is to turn the poison into medicine. And that's where the shaman comes. That's where the alchemist come. That's where the awakened one comes. That's where the intelligence comes. Turning the poison into medicine. Turning this unfortunate victim story into a victorious story. Instead of being the victim, you become the victor by shifting your awareness, by shifting your attention. Your attention is the, the me who's unfortunate and got screwed to I chose to be in this situation in some level. I don't understand all of it, but I needed to learn this. And thank you, Mr. Abusive, Miss Abusive, for teaching me, co-creating with me, so I could learn what I needed to learn. Because I am going to use this as fuel to my fire to rise above and open my wings and even be a better human being and more compassionate. 